guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another blessed day here at the shop. Uh, I gave this thing a wash and it's already super dirty because your boy, your boy didn't have any rags yesterday. So uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start washing it again. I'm gonna do a waterless wash this time. All right, guys, this car is looking extra clean other than that fat dent in the quarter. Hey, but that dent got me $2,000 knocked off, which is so, that's pretty much the cost of a wide body kit on the car. So if you guys appreciate that dent, smash that like button. <laughs> it just shows that this is one of the few cars that we're gonna have to save. Um, but yeah, front bumper, rear bumper, all that stuff's gonna get replaced anyways. But you guys, look at the car itself in pretty pristine shape. I've never had that many cars with paint paint that were in pretty good shape. So this is actually in pretty good shape. There's a few um, imperfections with the front bumper here in the hood rock chips and stuff like that nothing too crazy but check that out i think that looks so gnarly oh my god i love this car i still can't believe it. i did a little bit of cleaning to the wheels nothing crazy but you guys can at least see the brake the rotors and stuff and the calipers the m calipers because these are actually i believe these are from an actual m car so this is really cool m performance brakes m package i just oh my god i just love this dang car and it came out pretty clean now um there's a few things i want to clean with the interior like this window stickers from the inside so i gotta go use some goo gone get all that adhesive off Clean the windshield, clean the dash, clean a few things in the inside. If you guys look in here, that looks so gross. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but it looks really gross. All that stuff, I wanna clean it up. I wanna clean up the steering wheel, the door panels, just a little bit of things here and there, and then I'll show you guys the interior. So three, two, one. All right, guys, and just like that, the interior is done as well. So um, I am gonna go through. As you guys can see, there's like a lot of waviness. Um, I think that's because of the power, the purple power. So I'm gonna go over this with some water as well, but you guys can see the sticker is gone. Um, if you guys go on to the inside, now um everything is looking way better hold up there we go way better wait everything's looking so much better which i'm really happy about because i really like my stuff clean so uh bang pretty much we pretty much went back to just lock up early today we don't have much to do i think hopefully in the next video we're gonna actually start wrapping the roof on this thing we're gonna already start modding the 435 we're gonna start modding the 128 but yeah today is gonna be a conclusion hopefully this is not gonna be the end of this video um hope i can get something else by the end of this video unless school hits me hard but uh i try to catch you guys the next day Hey guys, um, so welcome back. This is actually day two, like I promised y'all. So today is gonna be pretty exciting. I'm heading down to the shop in the 435 to pick up Jonathan, and we're gonna be driving right back to my house. So it's a 45 minutes drive there, 45 minutes drive back, what you're gonna do. Uh, but we're gonna go pick up my brother's car, uh, but put a few things together, drive it down to the shop. Dude, I'll catch you guys when I see Jonathan at the shop. I'm back out here again today guys. I, actually today's a Monday I'm supposed to be dedicating the whole day to schoolwork and I'll try my best to do a lot of my schoolwork here tonight Mainly because the reason I came here which is kind of like crazy But I needed to pick up the car moving permit. I left it in the x5 x5 is here So I need to get my school moving permit I need to get my garage door opener and all that stuff out of the x5 put it in the 4 series pick up Jonathan Take him back to my house and I'm gonna head over to school do some work with my friends um, After we get all that sorted out then I'll do my homework probably either on campus or back over here And then maybe doing a little bit of work tonight. So we'll see how everything works works out but uh without further ado let's head inside open the garage and uh get all my things all right got the keys will it unlock is this e46 this is x5 what was wrong with this car okay there we go i'm about to say what's wrong with this thing garage door opener check moving permit Check. I love this sound system. It's probably one of my favorite sound systems ever. So John just got here out of nowhere. <laughs> and uh, his radiator hose just ended up blowing on him. So um, I don't know if he has to see that. That sucks the bootay. Dang, guys, look at the cooling everywhere. At least it's not your water pump or your radiator, so I mean. It just happened. I, like right here? On the light? I yeah. I started seeing the smoke, so I was like, oh, I'm so close. I'm just gonna drive it there. I knew, I, I knew it was gonna be the radiator or a hose or something. I knew it. Dang. This is a trick my dad taught me. Guys, look at this massive burn I did the other day. Don't worry about that, that was unintentional. Massive. Massive. So we're 
and John about to head over to the house, yeah. pick up uh, my brother's car, and get back over here. All right, guys, we are back at home, not the shop. Kind of weird to say. <laughs> but yeah, so we are back at home. I'm going to go ahead and just wipe this thing down a little bit, take off all the wrapping around everything, and uh, put on the door handles, tail lights, stuff like that. At least get it to where it's drivable so we can drive it down to the shop legally. Um, and then we'll continue to work on this car, hopefully, when it's in the shop. I feel, I've just been a lot more motivated when I've been at the shop. I know the content's a lot nicer, the lighting's a lot nicer. Like here, the lighting is pretty garbo. Um, yeah, like, <laughs> we got spoiled, so, um, yeah, so we're gonna take this out of the shop, hopefully get some work done, have some fun, and, uh, at the same time, get my, uh, get my dad's garage all cleaned up, because, uh, I'm sure he's super excited for me to get the hell out of here. Alright guys, so my brother's car is finally started up. We got the tail lights on there, um, side mirrors, everything to make this car legal. This bumper is not on there in the best way possible because it's cracked. But um, we have three screws holding this thing on, so there's no way this is coming off unless Jonathan uh, gets in a little fender bender. Anyway, so yeah, Jonathan's driving over to the shop. Shout out to him. If he gets a ticket, we're gonna have to get him, you know, to like 3,000 subscribers. <laughs> so um, which is which is less that this he doesn't get pulled over because that won't wouldn't be any fun. Uh, but I mean, I don't think they will pull us over unless they're feeling kind of cheeky and they drive literally all around Jonathan to find a problem because it is one ugly looking car but it's it all legal fun, it's all legal yeah I'm, I'm tripping a little bit but um, anyways I gotta head over to school I gotta get some school work done I got a little group project I'll be meeting them back at the shop later tonight so you guys will see that but anyways shout out to John I'll probably just see you there Jonathan just backing her out hopefully this thing will make it to the shop no problem um, really wishing him the best here Oh, like a piece of shit, bro. All right, brother, drive safe, all right? Dang, that thing is a piece of work. Yeah, let me know for sure, if you get there. So yeah guys, a complete change in events. My group mates decided they didn't want to show up. Um, I don't even know what to say anymore. So yeah, that's basically what happened. And um, back to, I'm gonna go back to the shop. I'm gonna stay there till like eight, seven or eight, um, just until traffic dies down. And then I'm gonna head home and try to get my work done, try to get my part of the project done and then uh, submitted. So at least I did my end of the deal and if something else happens, it's not my problem. All right, guys, food back at the shop. I guess Devon's here with this slant of a car. <laughs> What's up, bro? This thing's always looking like a cartoon. <laughs> Dang, gave her a wash and everything. Guys, I'm about to get something to eat. I'm about to like just put my little Chipotle there and eat for that. We need a coffee table, but what's going on, John? You got food without me? I'm sorry, Chipotle was hella far away. I had to pick it up. I was in <laughs> the trail. <laughs> but yeah, check this out, guys. Finally looking like a shop. This looks really good. You know, John over there doing his thing and stuff, splitters and stuff, good stuff. We got the X5, we got the Genesis 435. Do we have so many cars out here today? It's like an actual shop, which is crazy. And we finally got my brother's car out here as well. So looking good, looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and get something to eat, then I'm probably gonna start working on something. I don't know yet. I'll let you guys know in a second. All right, guys, so I'm just at the shop right now, and apparently we got some neighbors that are also part of a pretty big shop out here, L&D Solutions. So shout out to them. They reached out. They're actually gonna be helping us out with the 435, and uh, we're gonna go to sh your shop right now yeah, to just, see. just right around the corner. We'll check what kind of seatbelt colors uh, he might like. Hopefully we'll get something out for him, and uh, I think it should be pretty fun. We're gonna be partnering up, so this is gonna be pretty dope. But we're gonna reach out to a few companies, so I know for sure this car is gonna be really sick. I'm gonna go check out like custom seatbelts, guys. It's like stuff you see on Porsches. Like, let's go check it out. Hopefully, it's gonna be dope. Uh, bring you guys with me. So, yeah, guys, our shop is right there, and uh, <laughs> we're, already, we're already here. Hey, look at this. Like, what are these our shop is like right there. <laughs> Dude, this is such a good location. Here's uh, all the colors. colors. 
This is the one that I was talking about, this red. That is a pretty good looking red. Um, dude, I love this, but just, I don't know. That's, yeah, that's like a lime green. I think that one or this one we're gonna be doing on the McLaren. So these ones wow. right here, uh, the other ones we already ran out. Guys, look at this roll. This is so satisfying to hold. <laughs> Can you believe this is a seatbelt? And check out that one. These are the two colors I'm honestly going with right now. I don't, we might have to look at some other ones, but these look so good. So we're gonna go test fit them on the car. Not test fit them, but just see how they look inside the car, right? Let's go. Ooh, oh, here. snap. Oh, uh, yeah. oh, <laughs> he's saying they also, they could have a possible color that matches my calipers. This doesn't match it, but I love this blue. Like, it looks like, this is something you would see like in a Porsche or a Lambo. Oh, it looks and, so Dude, Lucia just dipped. <laughs> Let's go across the street. I know where we are. <laughs> we can't go anywhere, dude. I like how all these, these things have like multiple, you can see like, like the color changes at different angles. That's, that's pretty close. That's really close. That is really close. Oh, snap. It's kind of hard to see in the video, yeah. but. No, no, that, that's pretty close. I ain't gonna lie. That's really good. Um. Oh my God, dude. What is life? Feels like I'm getting my car wrapped in a gift. Okay, so that is the blue, which I'm digging. Don't get me wrong, but I don't know why. <laughs> These ones are a little more popping. This is like super classic. Let's, I'm gonna test these out with Jonathan and we'll figure out which one we like and we'll get back to you guys in a second. This is gonna go hard. This is the M style kind of blue and oh my God, guys, this, this is some royalty stuff right here. Oh my God. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm definitely, this over that, 100%. I'm really liking this one. But we would still this have to see like this one. This is crazy popping, dude. Yeah, this is like, this is if you're feeling like, this, like, this is some <laughs> cheeky stuff right here. <laughs> Porsche 918 Spider. Yeah. <laughs> Let's check that one out. Dude, oh that's God. the one. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if the cameras can pick. Hold up. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know if you guys can see that, but oh my God. It looks kind of yellow. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You guys can't really see it on camera. I'm telling you, this neon is insane. Try to take it out maybe in the sun. I don't know. This is like. The camera's really not picking it up. Uh uh. Yeah, these are fine. If you like... get farther away, it actually looks better. Really? All right, guys. So again, we're L and D right here, um, right next to my shop. Like I swear to God, let me, let me show you guys where we're at right now. Like that's the Genesis. That's the, that's the Vaughn's Genesis. You can't miss it. It's like a sore thumb. Anyways, so we're here right now, and um, basically, show me a couple belts. You show me we can do the seats. You show me you can do custom stitching throughout the entire like. We must redo the whole seat. So I thought about getting like M4 style seats, swapping it out. But instead, we're gonna do something completely custom to this car. Get custom seat belts, all that good stuff. So let me know what color you guys would like to see in the interior. Like I don't really know. He showed me a few and I, I just can't decide. So if you guys know a good color, let me know down in the comments. I was thinking about kind of like this orange, bronze, goldish looking thing. I think it'd be super cool with the black or neon, something along those lines. You guys let me know or should I just go with like blue or red or orange or something simple like that. Anyways, so again, shout out to Dennis and his little brother for reaching out. <laughs> um, so you'll be seeing us hopefully oh, in yeah. the next couple days. Oh, yeah. And um, you guys want to say where you guys are located exactly? Uh, so we are located on 72. 32nd Street. This is our old shop. Sorry, that needs to be cleaned up. Yeah. But, uh, this huge shop is ours, and then um, we do pretty much a lot of interior work, like post accident. A lot. Um, I just went in there, guys. Saw like a whole bunch of seats and headliner, like for days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, and then we got a lot of stuff. So a we're real operation. Busy. Uh, pretty much everyone's gone, so it seems a little empty here, but usually all these parking lots here are filled. So yeah, yeah. We're, we're crazy busy, but I think we'll figure something out for They've you. been partnering up. They partnered up with B is for Build, Foreign. Foreign Builds. And, and Backyard Boys. Backyard Boys, that was the other one you guys know for sure. And people like just busting down these roads. They partnered up with a lot of other huge YouTubers, which is super sick. So, um, I, the fact, I can't believe B is for Build was here. Yeah, he came all the way from Oregon. With his Lambo, so I think that was pretty. That's cool. sick. Next time he's out, you gotta let me know. I'd be so <laughs> sick. He might be I, coming I, by. Let me know what color, and we'll go from there. I honestly am just blown away. That's actually gonna be the topic of today's video. I didn't have a topic, so bam. That's that's the clickbait. Look, lightweight. No, nope. it's real. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's gonna real. happen. It's gonna happen. So it's not it's clickbait. Happen, no matter what. <laughs> hey guys, this is the next day. So. I decided when I was editing the video, I didn't want to leave you guys hanging with a little bit of content. So we're actually going to go back to the shop today. I'm leaving the house right now and uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap the roof. So I'll catch you guys when we're back at the shop and uh, wrap this baby. Because we all know how a car looks at a black roof. Woo! Let's do it. So we just made it to the shop basically uh, today I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the roof so we have this really sick wrap it's kind of like this pearlish black so we're gonna go ahead and try to wrap the roof today uh, I think Jonathan's gonna help me are you free Jonathan 
So I got Jonathan. Um, we have Austin and John here as well working on his car. Shout out to them. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's just get to work, show you guys how it looks. I'll show you guys how the roof looks right now. I actually love paint. Like, don't, like it actually looks black at some angles. If you guys look like right here, it looks kind of blacked out. So it looks really good. I love paint, but we have to wrap the roof black. I think it'll be sick, especially we have a pearlish black. And then we're also be wrapping this whole car once I get the full body kit and everything on it. So yeah, that's why I wanna do the roof for now. Something I also wanna work on today is this dent. I wanna be able to pull it out. Like this looks horrific, like, oh my God. So all we gotta do first is just remove this little thingy McBarber, put down the window, and I think we're just gonna wipe it. Honestly, this is pretty easy. Wrapping the roof is pretty simple. We might end up removing these just to make it, you know, go in smoother. So we'll see about that. But I'll show you guys everything, don't worry. So we're just gonna go in instant time-lapse mode. Right, guys so the roof is pretty much ready to go we got the stupid fin off this thing's actual pain in the booty it's not like the e90 you can't just peel up on one side i actually put a little dent right here if you guys can see that um so basically just cut all the way around get to go on that picked up these little side pillars basically just lift up here a little bit pull it back pull up easy peasy um now we're just gonna go ahead and clean up everything and then we should be ready to wrap so let's get to it guys i don't know if you guys can see this the wrap is beautiful and then i messed up yep um apparently i didn't know you could take this thing off so i just took it off and we're gonna go ahead and rewrap the whole roof that's life i mean what are you gonna do um but that's whatever let's just uh let's just go ahead and fix this yeah 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 Coming in, Coming in, yeah, flex, I just wanna win, yeah, LA BB who we running with, yeah, 2233, I'm on 10 again, yeah, state your name, big big dope on flame, I just switched the lanes, damn he did it again, I just flipped the pain. It is done, I think it looks fire. Um, we ended up wrapping it through the seals and everything. It looks really good. So yeah, from a distance, it just looks like black. We're gonna be, we're gonna be wrapping the whole car, um, so it's gonna look really sick. But also when it comes super close, it has like this pearl look to it, which I think looks fire. Um, I got a lot of super glue on my hands. I'm trying to figure out how to put this thing back on, but yeah, check that out. I think that looks really good. When you're wrapping, don't make the same mistake I did. I ended up taking Devon's wrap. I owe him some wrap. Uh, <laughs> uh, because I left this on, and then when I was wrapping, it actually got cut right on here because it's kind of sharp. Um, so I messed I messed up the first wrap. This is the second wrap, looking really good. That piece is removable, so don't make the mistake I did. And these pieces are removable, so make sure you remove this as well. Oh. <laughs> What's up, bro? Sid just made it to the shop. What's going on, guys? He's the dude that's been giving me my good ass haircuts. So shout out to him if you guys don't know him. Me and Sierra have known each other for a very long time. Good guy. So he's here at the shop to check it out. Bringing all the cars in right now. We have Devon's Genesis, John's E92 that he just drove and blew the diff. Um, Long story, we'll show you guys that down the road. Uh, we got Devon's other E46. We have Sierra trying to break into my brother's car. And uh, I'm gonna actually go ahead and get the 435 out. So you guys check out the roof right now. I think it looks pretty baller. I love the pearls. And then I also just went ahead and wrapped that as well. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, I think it looks pretty sick. Um, Keys Motorsports is gonna be sending me out some kind of carbon fiber overlay. So I might just end up putting that on top of this. We'll see how it looks. But as for now, I think it looks really good. I mean, just check it out. That black, oh my God, it looks really good. Like it's just like a minor detail, but I love it. Also something I noticed guys, my car came pre-tinted, which is actually, I don't know if they come like that stock, but that's pretty dope. So uh, Jonathan's gonna try to do a little burnout with these Hoopty Mobile. Try it. Whoa, chill. <laughs> All right guys, so we tried doing a burnout in that. That didn't work. So let's go ahead and try to do a burnout on the 435, see if we can make it happen. Yeah. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go. 
I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.